here in Leesville, right, Lee South Carolina, with Cedar Creek Coon Dog Kennels. Under the dirt on the ground and his boots here on my feet. I got a wild side ten miles. Come here, come in, girl. Hey, hey, be careful now. He's ready to go again, buddy. Good job, Mama. Oh, oh, oh. So I'll go around and everybody's gonna introduce themselves. All right. The navigator. Cody Morris song. Cody. Cody. And I'm Reed. And Reed. All right, so we got a whole band over here. So we gonna chop it up. We about to have a good time. Let's see how these Lee's boys, South Carolina folks, kick it. All right, everybody. This is the start of Cedar Creek Coon Dog Kennels here. This is phase one of the kennels. I got kennels in two different locations. Okay. I got uh, 12 hound dogs total. Right over here, a walking dog, female dog. She's heavy stylish, second breed. The name Mini Pearl. Mini Pearl, all right. She got a machine gun chunk. All right, and over here, got an English female dog. Her name Calatomy Jane. Calatomy Jane. Alright. She's 11 years old. She's getting on up there a little bit. This is my upcoming Pride and Joy dog here. Okay. The name Texas Pete. Texas Pete, like the hot sauce? That's right. Because <laughs> the red bone That's makes right. sense. Now, it makes sense. Funny story about him. He was a stray dog in the middle of the road, half starved to death, full of mange. And the boy saw him on the road and knew I was favorite red bone. Asked me if I want him. And I said, yeah, why not? Introduced him to Cage Coon. Took him out. Once I got him fattened up and slicked up, got the mange off of him. Turned him loose to a Cage Coon. After that, he's been training Coons like a light bulb clip. There you go. <laughs> so I didn't have to pay high dollars or breed a lot for him. Nope. Texas Pete. Over here. She's a little old bee. She had puppy, so but she's she'll run on tonight. She's a walking dog, heavy, insane cane bread. Insane cane. She just had a litter of puppy. All right. So we'll take her out. Tonight. All right. This dog here. He's a direct son off my Midnight Joe dog that died. His name's Little Joe. Little Joe. My objective, my kennels got started by my daddy in 1978. And his philosophy, his idea was to introduce the youth to the world of coon hunting, to spread on, to carry on the traditions that our forefathers should have. So my, my intent, get the youth involved, get them off the street, get them doing something positive out in the woods. Uh, it's, it, it's a lot of excitement. You got the elements of of danger involved to a certain degree. You got swamp, you're gonna have water. Might be some alligators down here in the south we'll deal with. <laughs> so that's all part of the drilling rush. It right? sure is. I got dogs in two different locations. So this is at my house here. The other pens that y'all saw was at my buddy's house. Okay. Right, so this is my kennels here. The sign says Raccoon Road. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh my, where'd you get that? Uh, that old fella make it for me as a joke. 
<laughs> to put down in our kennel. It's just, of course, the leaves and everything, but in the wintertime, it stands out more. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, All right, Rick. I'm going to get my signs read out here. These are some of the dogs here. That's a little snap there. This He's is snap. Lot of my TikTok video. Okay. English dog. Yeah. Uh, you all heard the story where the red fern grows with Dan and Ann. Uh huh. This is Ann here. She had a litter of puppies. Right. Come here, Ann. Let's see her over there in the middle. Here she go. Hey, Ann. Ann there. She just had puppies. So she just. So, so snap, and then Ann is the red bone. Yeah. All right. Let me get better on this side. Alright. That's Ann's brother Dan. Alright, so that's, that's Dan. Right, they're brother's sister, Dan and Ann. Alright. This little fella here. The English dog. Mary Jane at the other kennels. Uh huh. That's the mother of this puppy. Okay. His name's Elvis. Elvis. Original that started the whole kennel. My first dog I ever had when I started it 13 years ago. So this is the OG? Yeah, these are OG. They're retirement mode right now. Retirement mode. The OGs. Okay. Annie, little Annie here. She's 13 years old. 13. So that's her son. He's an English. A blue, a blue tick, tick English. English. Blue tick. Okay. You know, English hounds have produced tricolor, different color hounds. Correct. This is Clyde. Yeah. We can start to take him tonight. But you get so many dogs like I got, always give them a pep talk. So they know they, they got to earn the starting lineup and who's going to start first. That's it. <laughs> so we'll get around it in. All right. It is your local country store, huh? Yeah, yeah, local country store. It's called Keys. Keys. Where everybody goes. Where everybody goes. All right. Yeah. The, uh, one stop shop store in the country. It's your one stop shop. You get beer, crickets, worms, hunting license, dog food, <laughs> pizza, hamburgers. You get it all, huh? You get it all right here. You can't go, you can't go down here in South Carolina without eating a bowl of peanut. Especially before you go to I think. Oh, yeah. They got the best bowl of peanuts in three counties. Hey Red, I don't know about you, but the uh, boiled peanuts, I like mine soggy. I like the, the, the soggy <laughs> ones. I like the yeah, soggy ones. Yeah, they, we sit in a bag for an hour. <laughs> Or nothing in his truck. <laughs> All he had was like five different Hank Jr. CDs. And like every night, I, I can play karaoke on Hank Jr. all night long, but I know every lyric to every song. <laughs> so your dad came logo. up with that? Yeah. Back in 1983. Okay. That's his signature logo he puts on the bag. It catered to us, but he wanted a food. That's not so expensive now, because dog food now, too many middlemen are involved, and, and the markup's ridiculous. And that's an affordable food for hunters that meets the requirements, satisfaction of the diet needs for a hound dog. You guys get to know me. I always <laughs> travel with an entourage. Got to, got to. And the number one character right here is Cody Moore. Singer, songwriter, personally. <laughs> We'll showcase that. But uh, yeah, I wrote this song called Turn Sexy On on September the 13th. And uh, everybody said it was good except for me. And I ended up listening to people and I posted it to uh, TuneCore. 
And I guess they had to go through it, check it out, send it out. And if anybody wanted it, if there was any radio, radio playable, they would accept it. Well, iTunes got it, uh, Pandora, Spotify, and uh, who else? Apple is getting it right now. Okay. So. And repeat the song one more time for the people in the back. Turn Sexy On by Cody Moore. Turn Sexy On. Yes, sir. All right. What's the song about, Cody Moore? Why that name? What? Why that name, Turn Sexy On? What's it about? Well, I can play it for you right now if you want to hear it. Well, and we then, just want to know the background of where you come up with that name. Well, how did I come up with it? You had to ask me that. It's just something that came to me, man. Just like any That's song. That's sometimes how it know? happens, yeah. And I'm going to tell you what, what influenced it, okay, is one day I got home from work, and I used to stand on the outside of our little walkway coming in, and you can see the kitchen, and my wife used to stand there and have her little music playing, and she would dance to it. And uh, I would just stand there and watch her just smiling. Thank God it. that That's that was it. my wife, you know. Okay. And that inspired the song. Okay. There you go. And that's why it says, one of the lyrics is, I like to watch you dancing in the kitchen when you think you're alone. Okay. Yeah. So, uh. Do you have any other songs out there on Spotify? Not yet. That was the first one. I just loaded it thir on September 13th. Okay. So Spotify, Apple. Yeah. All, right. all over. Picking it up. So hopefully it'll go somewhere, man. It will. You know. People tell you not to go for those kind of dreams that they, they hard to reach. And, uh. I just recently stopped listening to those people. You have to. I started reaching. Yes. So we're going to see what happens. Oh, yeah. So where are we at, Red? We're at Sheely's Barbecue. This is a, uh, a landmark in the town. The best eatery in Leesville. Oh, the best eatery in Leesville, huh? For barbecue, anyway. All right, let's check it out. Check it out. You don't eat no Woody Entertainment video without no food. Now you know That's we gotta right. go eat. Yeah, it's been here since 1968. It's been here since 1968. Fact, famous people that ate here, and there's a wall of fame on the in here. Former presidents that ate here, politicians, uh, famous coon hunters that eat here all the time. All right. I go eat at Chili. What's up, Red? Red, what'd you say? That's mustard based barbecue. Mustard based barbecue. All right. So I got some barbecue ribs, chicken, rice, mac and cheese, and stream beans. What you got, Red? Got some Carolina hash right there. Uh-huh. Some barbecue right there. Mm -hmm. Mustard-based barbecue in the mm -hmm. Carolinas. There you go. What you got? A little hot cheese, barbecue ribs, collards, and macaroni and cheese. What you got? Everything they got up there but spaghetti. <laughs> oh, fat back. Oh, fat back. Yeah. All right. What you got? What you got? Oh, no, that's all enough. Barbecue, macaroni, and rice and hash. I need to bring Same for you too, ain't up here. Yeah, we need bigger plates. Need bigger you plates. Can't, you can't, you can't. What you got? What you got, bro? I got some of this dirty rice. I got some of this cornmeal. Rice and gravy, fat back, real. Explain for people who don't know what bloody rice is. 
Bloody rice right here. This is tomato juice and rice. Tomato juice and rice, okay. Tomato juice and rice. I got some of this regular rice with a little bit of that white gravy on it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cornmeal, a little bit of collard greens right here. I know it. A little bit of that hash, a chicken leg, and a bit fully loaded. You got a fully loaded plate. What you got there? Fully loaded. We got some rice and hash. We got some mustard barbecue with more mustard on it, some macaroni and cheese, some ribs, and some collard greens. Mm -hmm. Y'all think we'll be able to walk in the woods after all that? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. We tell you one prank at lunch. At lunch. All right, good turn now. Everybody get their roll. All right, what you got in your plate? I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, some ribs. You just ready to get down there. Yeah, All right, I'll let you get to it. What you got on your plate? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lima beans. Lima beans, fried chicken. Thank you. You're welcome. Show the folks, show the world. 244 yards in near the water. You want to go to this tree? Yeah, All right, so tree magic, tree Hank. Yeah, he's going to bring my thermal too. Yeah, we'll wait right here. Yeah, we So Magic and Hank are treed. We're going to wait for the gun. Yes, sir. They only with 90 yards in. 90 yards. 90 yards. So we got one tree there. Then we still got Rex. He's 300, 400 down in the, uh, down in the water down there. Yep. 370. Three. All right, y'all. So this is what's going on. We walk into tree number one. Magic and Hank are treed 90 yards in. Let me get some of the dogs trained, all right? Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs, good dogs. Y'all got him. Good boy. Y'all got him. Good boy. Good boy. Dead. Come on. That's about right there. Dead. 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 Hot out here, boy. I tell you. Daddy. Daddy. Oh. 
You got eyes? Uh, you got that arm. Oh, yeah. Bring it right here. Good ball. Yeah. Y'all got him? Uh, the whole limb just took like something was in it right there. It just shattered. Right there. Somewhere in there. Walk into the second cast tree, Branding, Texas Pete, and Sky, right? Yep. And Sky. We walking in there, seeing what's going on. You got his lead. Y'all okay. gonna cast him right here? Yeah. Got He did good. He did real good. I'm proud of him. He was Amen. filled with hornets a couple months ago. To the point I had to throw gas on him to get the hornets off of him because I couldn't get close to him. They almost killed him. And I thought it was going to ruin him. I, said, I figured he was just going to be old yard dog after that. As you can tell, he'd be still. He's still got scars and scars yeah. from hornets. From and, the hornets, uh, yeah. He's all up. His face swole up, his chest, everything on him was swollen. I thought he was going to die, but he overcome it, and here we are. He's, un he's unbeat life twice. When I got him, he was almost dead. He was real wormy. His whole litter was blue. Hey, his whole litter was blue, and I think the man missed him. 
and I chose him out of all the fat, pretty puppies. He was almost dead when I got him, wouldn't eat for days. Finally, I got him eating, and he come around, and here we are. He's nice and healthy. He's gonna beat that. Now he's gonna beat the Hornets. And uh, he's heart a of a champion. Special, he's a very special hound, and you're right. He's got the heart of a champion. Three before. We have to do initiation. Our initiation is a little different. It's not like deer hunters where you put blood on you and whatnot. All right, you ready, my man? Introduce, uh, what's your name? My name is Kyle. 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 First coon. First coon. First coon. You got to take your hat off, okay? All right, you got to put the coon on your head right now. We'll do a little jig dance, all right? We'll do a jig. All right, here we go. All right. All right. What the elusive raccoon? <laughs> Good deal. One with the coon. Yeah. Black for Cedar Creek. Oh, yeah.